Hello and welcome to jobskillshare.org. This is Danish. Today I will be sharing this diagram uh, in front of your screen. A lot of our members become our members and then some of them are kind of confused on where to start and things like that. Now, of course, when you go to the website, there's actually a learning path where a lot of people follow that. But then, you know, sometimes we get questions from people who are not members and they want to know what kind of services do we offer? Because uh, people have to remember that we are not just a membership platform anymore. We also offer full trainings uh, and that includes trainers guiding them uh, on daily basis. Uh, some trainings have live sessions. Some trainings are totally self-paced, but still we offer guidance throughout the program. And we not only help just, uh, you know, a public members, but we also help colleges, communities now, and also MSPs. And there are many other ways people collaborate with us from different areas. So this diagram is created for you to understand how to use some of the features if you are a member. And specifically, I'm talking about premium member because that's where you kind of get the whole value from JSS from membership site. And then I will also talk about what this what this one diagram can actually lead you to understand how we offer our uh, self-paced training or guided training uh, f from mentorship perspective. So this diagram right in front of you, you're seeing this, this is basically what you get in Practice Lab. And that's why I designed this diagram in a way that people can actually understand if they're gonna be taking these labs, practice labs, right? And these are all really cool hands-on labs that teaches you a lot of skills. Now, of course, when you get access from us, you get this library access. And for some of you, some of these labs are not built. They're not designed for you to jump in because you're so new to it. So why would you jump into something that is so advanced to take so much stress? So that's why you're actually going to use this diagram to help you out okay, you know what, I am going to be focusing on this area because that's what the diagram is telling me. So if you look at it, when you get access to the practice labs, on the left side, you have all of these, uh, you know, labs like Cisco labs. Now, the first thing we put out over here is this documentation. It's very important for you to know the documentation because yes, you get support and everything like that, but you don't want to get stuck with the support uh, for a few hours just to know how to turn on a machine. That's something, of course, you as an IT professional or a future IT professional should understand that you have to really follow documentation. So if you click on it, it is going to take you straight to the practice lab documentation and they have a very extensive documentation and you can see everything is in there step by step. It really helps you. So then, of course, this little, uh, you know, um, I can, this is kind of like representing the labs that are actually retired from practice lab, but they're not retired in a way that you cannot access to learn skills. Because we are a skills platform, we also use the labs that they consider retired. The only reason they named it retired because the certification is no longer there to support it. But the labs are there, the content is there, the practice is there. So you have to, if you're a follower of JSS, you have to strongly believe that we don't believe in something brand new, right? We believe in something that's, let's say, 2016 servers, 2012 servers still being used. Uh, and people are still moving from 2012 to 16. And we tell people that if you want to learn about systems administration, you have to know the server 2012 because that's where the major things changed. And that's where things are like added on 16, 19. So you have to then understand it that way. You have to think about it in a real world perspective. If you are gonna become an engineer or if you are gonna become an IT support professional, people are not just gonna jump into Windows 11 because there are still people using uh, Windows 10. Many, I mean, Windows 10 is still a current one, but in future, you're gonna see that, you're still gonna see a lot of Windows 10, uh, you know, uh, devices. And then when the time Microsoft decides that we're going to end this, of course, that's where people move a lot into the new version. So that's what we focus on. We focus on reality uh, and we don't just, if a, if a lab is showing this color, then that doesn't mean it's retired for us and totally done. Unless it's extremely old lab, then maybe, yeah, you don't want to do it. So here you see that uh, we have little tags going on in this diagram. So let's say you open a practice lab, you become a premium member, and now you're in the practice lab system. And on the left side, you're like, okay, you know what? 
what should I take over here as an IT professional? So on the left side in the whole diagram, we have created some charts for you. So if you scroll down, you can see, if you look at right here, these are saying that this is these labs on the left side is designed for network engineers, systems administrators, and NOC support, network support. So this could be a NOC level one, level two, whatever it is, but it's mostly towards that Cisco uh, type of support. So somebody is getting into the systems, checking configs, or monitoring it and things like that. So you would be working in that kind of support or maybe applying for that kind of positions, then you would be taking these type of labs. Now, if you look at CompTIA and under that, we say all support roles. This means anything, IT support, desktop support, user support, technician, these are all basically IT support. So people can name you differently. That's really up to the company. But we say all support. It doesn't matter. It's just support level. It's not a sysadmin level. It's not an engineering level. It's all that support level positions. And you can see that we have this little mark going again, CompTIA, Linux, and you know, Network Plus. Even Network Plus comes under support because there's still just basics and uh, the fundamentals and the cloud fundamentals. They all come under support, okay? And then, of course, in the same tag, we have put all IT admin admin roles because Linux uh, or you know Cloud Plus or uh, anything like that it's still something that you're going to see more of a sysadmin also doing uh, touching these labs so that's kind of like an overall any admin role as well then we uh, compile all these uh, security roles into one and sysadmin into all one right here it says right here all security roles you will see the pen test security plus security plus again and again these are different level of certification labs of course you would, would want to go into the more uh, latest one in practice lab which is 601 now and then of course if you want to go back to the older one you can still learn something from it if that's not covered in 601 and then of course we have this uh, you know this, uh, admin roles in there too so if you come back to the microsoft side most of it's going to hit that sysadmin or net or my or windows server admin roles so we have tagged it that way for for you to to make it easy Okay, so now how do we really go into more deeper? Like, okay, I, I understand that that's, a, that's what you have just chunked into one rules, but still I wanna know some little bit more, you know, more like specific lab I'm talking about. So if you're a premium member, on the left side we have, we have created a membership, on the right side we have created a mentorship. So we offer both, right? So we, we offer, we give this really cool ability to you for you to say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be only applying for the IT support role. So let me just focus on support labs. How can you help me with this? So just click on this and you see it takes you to this diagram. So in this diagram, you can click on this little icon and that straight takes you to the lab access. So if you have the lab access and let's say you are a member, you're a premium member, you can actually check your username and password on this section where you can see your dashboard your stats all that kind of stuff is available right here from our platform uh, all right and then you can get into the lab systems once you have the username and password here you can just go straight to the lab and then take the lab that is suggested over here on the left side so it makes it really easy right it's like what we have done in mentorship or or guidance type of meetings because somebody has to spend all that time with you. Now you can just go in and open this diagram and see, okay, you know, it's FC0161 uh, uh, lab is the first one that I need to take and CompTIA A plus is the lab that they are recommending. And on the left, they have all these labs that are kind of like going into more deeper, deeper into operating systems. And you become, if you finish all these labs, I feel like you're, you're pretty much level two and you know, level two skills because that's where it takes you to those deep Windows 10 troubleshooting and everything. And that's just labs, right? So it tells you exactly what lab to take if you're gonna be applying for IT support roles. So simple uh, solution right here. It's just a guidance that we're giving you that, hey, you got this big access in these labs right here, but then what lab should you be taking? And, and if you're gonna be applying for support roles, then what, what exact labs do you need and what format of flow so then it starts from fundamental CompTIA a plus then windows operating systems update then it goes to network plus windows 10 md 100 md 101 then it goes to security powerpoint and outlook because that's just a very common use uh, tools now on the right side you see that we have actual video courses for the labs that you are actually performing in practice labs so we have created our own courses on top of these labs we create our own lectures and the same uh, tasks that you're seeing in these labs you're going to see that in our courses make it super easy for you to learn skills because 
it's like you know you may be a member who likes to watch a video first and then do the lab or you may be a member who wants to do the lab first and then watch the video just so you can see where your mistakes are so here these courses are very powerful and we make it easy for you and kind of tell you that okay it fundamental CompTIA a plus will be covered in this fundamental course that we have created so now you have this powerful labs and this powerful real world skill course on the right side on the left side again we created another course and the lab videos with that and it's, it's it goes on the story goes on there and, and it makes it super easy for you to learn skills for long-term development. So when I say long-term development, that's the solution that we're giving everybody that if you want to do it yourself, you can 100% do this without anything else. You can just get the membership and then you have the labs and you have the videos and you follow it. But let's say, for example, you want to do the same thing in IT support roles and you want to now, you want a little bit more service. You feel like, I need to be pushed, I need to be guided because a lot of people, even if you give them a lot of access, that doesn't mean people will be successful because they may maybe require mentor to really mentor them, check their progress and things like that. Is there anything that we can do for you? Yes, in JSS, we also offer guided IT programs for beginners. This is a very powerful program. People are in it and usually this is kind of like a very much three months long program as you can see in front of you there's going to be a schedule details available everything before you make your payments or anything like that but then this program is going to be using a different platform we use testout.com which does come with a certification preparation like a plus md100 md101 will be and then uh, focused in this one Still, our focus is not to really uh, go for certification. We're still going to be looking for skills. The, the reason then you want to take this one, if you feel like you want to be pushed, you want to be guided by someone throughout the end, meaning you get into a system, somebody's checking you. And of course, because this uh, in, environment or this platform does comes with a simulated hardware skills, then yes, that is the ca capability that you will get in this program. Uh, so yes, this is after the membership. If you feel like membership is not cutting for you, uh, you can become a premium member. We actually deduct that amount if you uh, if your labs are not expired. If they're expired, then you have to renew your membership and then take this program. So this this is kind of like another solution, a very powerful solution. Because in this, we are kind of know we know you for three months. Then we work with you. We give you references. We give you title information. Your resume looks very healthy, and then of course it's more pushed and a program that is guided by some. Someone that, that is always watching you so it's it's kind of like a real training um, basically we, we are using modern tool like discord and we get together we can send you a message we can say oh you're doing not doing well for this week please go ahead and make sure you push yourself so there's a lot of of that going on in that kind of program of course the prices will be definitely high because now somebody's watching you and just like that we have created a networking so if you click on networking you can see on the left side then you have networking labs then okay now i want i want to become a network engineer a junior level network engineer and i want to do this by myself so on the left side you have network plus a lab and then ccna which is a great way you break it down from network plus to ccna very detailed cisco stuff and then on the right side then again you have these videos covered by jss and of course labs are given to you and then also the videos are given to you by us so then everything is just syncing together and then you can go straight to these courses and take these huge courses and again if you feel like that's not your style and you want to kind of go back and you know what i'm, I'm gonna go back and um, I don't want to do this basically this is not my style I want to basically get back to um, kind of like you know uh, the the mentorship program then you would click on guided uh, junior network program this will take you to our guided junior network program and that's where then you can you can kind of uh, register for this program which is another three months and if I show you it's going to look like this where you're going to come to our discord and you can see if the programs are open you can actually see these little tags right here if the program is open you just simply go ahead uh, and uh, submit the inquiry in the discord and then we send you an email that hey it's available go ahead and register and once you register you can see that these programs are then available and people are taking this program just like this an instructor is now uh, pointing out that hey you need to do this work or stuff like that instructor is showing some some uh, you know information to the students so very involved and I the end of in the network engineer program there's actually live sessions too which is which is just mind-blowing because you have 16 weeks and 16 weeks each week you are going to see an instructor at the end of the module which is very very powerful stuff um, and that's how we kind of like you know uh, take this program 
And, I, and again, coming back to the diagram, uh, we have done server labs in a very detailed way, right? So if you want to become a sysadmin right now, you can just register and get into the server fundamental course for fundamental lab, uh, test server plus, uh, then uh, these are the major courses that if you want to become a technical server engineer, then you would be following some type of that type of courses where like installation, compute, networking, identity, which gets into Active Directory in a very detailed way. And then on the right side, we have the videos for it, right? That is exactly why we say that JSS is too big for a lot of, uh, you know, people to, to understand. Some people may not know this stuff. And that's why it's, it's important for you to understand when you become a member, you have this access right here. You have this all things that we're doing to make things really like, you know, targeted for you so then your focus is not all over. And because that's where a lot of people buy access or get into more courses, but they can't use it because they don't know or how to use it, basically. That is the main key right here. And for server administration, we're also preparing a program, but it's in progress. Just like that, we're going to be offering cybersecurity as well. That's why we say we're not stopping. We're going to be helping our members till the end of any infrastructure careers even cloud careers in the future. So thank you so much for being our member. And also, if you're interested in our guided program, make sure to click on this diagram and then click on those two programs. Make sure to join our Discord community because that's where you get to understand, uh, you know, a little easier way when the program is open. You have, you have a direct way to do the inquiry right here. So let's go back to the community. Once you join this community, this link will be in, uh, in description. You come over here and just like other people like now, they're asking for queries and they want to know more about this program before paying. Then yes, you have all of that clarity you will be given answers correctly and clearly before you get into this program thank you for watching i hope this diagram becomes very helpful for you